In order to have a successful experience when collecting an oral fluid drug test sample, two separate events must take place simultaneously. The first is the collection of the sample using the oral ease collection device. The second is completion of the oral fluid custody and control form, which ensures the legal integrity and validity of the collected sample. In this lesson, you will learn the necessary procedures to properly complete a Quest Diagnostics oral fluid drug testing custody and control form. Step 1. For fields A and B, as the collector, you should verify that the form contains the preprinted employer and MRO information. If any information is missing from this field, please contact the designated employer representative or the Quest Diagnostics National Customer Support Center at 800 877-7484 for assistance. Next, in Field C, obtain the donor's Social Security number or employee ID number. It may be pre-marked when the donor arrives. If the donor refuses to provide his or her Social Security or employee ID number, note the following comment on the remarks line of Step 2. Donor refuses to give Social Security number or employee ID number. Then, continue with the collection procedure. In Field D, clearly print the donor's full name. In Field E, confirm the donor's form of identification. Then, mark the applicable box. A photo ID is sufficient, as is an employer representative, if they were present and can confirm the donor's identity at the time of collection. This alternative specimen drug testing custody and control form may be used for either hair or oral fluid collections. But on this particular form, under Field F, you will mark Oral. Under Field G, mark the option that best describes the reason for the test being performed. Under Field H, select the Drug Test Panel that will be performed. There may be multiple pre-printed test panels, also referred to as test codes, depending on the employer's requirements. These test panels must be clearly marked by placing a check mark or X in the parentheses to the left of the printed test panel. Under field I, fill in the collection site information including the site name, address, city, state, and zip code. You will only complete the collection site code box if the collection is being performed at a Quest Diagnostics Patient Service Center, preferred or third-party collection site. Be sure to provide all contact information including the phone and fax numbers. Step 2. On the next section of the form, you'll describe the type of specimen being collected. If you're performing a typical single specimen collection, ensure that the single box is marked. Fill in the remarks section if anything out of the ordinary occurs during the time of the collection, like the donor refusing to provide their social security number. Step 3. Select one of the two long specimen seals from the bottom of the custody and control form. While the seals on your form may be slightly different from the example shown, the process of sealing the collection tube remains the same. Ensure that the two sets of numbers on the seal match the two sets of numbers under the barcode on the top left corner of the form. To prevent tearing, be sure not to place the seal over the hinge or the tab of the lid. Placing the label horizontally around the specimen tube should be avoided completely. Next. Place the tamper evident seal across the top of the collection tube and down both sides. Then ensure the label is affixed and secure over the top and down the sides of the specimen collection tube as this will eliminate the possibility of specimen tampering. After the seal is affixed to the collection tube, the collector dates the seal and the donor initials the seal. The next step you will complete is Step 5. You will address Step 4 last. For Step 5, as the collector, Instruct the donor to read the certification statement in the box in Step 5. Then instruct the donor to sign and print their name, including the date, and provide their phone number and date of birth. If the donor refuses to sign the certification statement, note it in the remarks field under Step 2. To complete the form, fill out Step 4 and once again as the collector, provide your signature, printed name, the date, the time of collection, and the name of the delivery service. Be sure to clearly mark if the specimen is being sent via Quest Diagnostics Courier, via FedEx, or by an alternate method of shipment. 
Be careful not to fill out the section in Step 4 labeled Received at Lab. The laboratory will fill out this portion once they receive the specimen. Properly packaging the sample for transport is the final step in successfully completing the oral fluid collection. Instructions detailing the most reliable method of packaging the sample may be located on the back of the custody and control form, which should be followed immediately after completing Step 4 of the form. You have now successfully learned and completed the process of correctly filling out the custody and control form.